At CES 2020, we get to see a whole lot of interesting vehicles, concept cars, and most of those vehicles are never going to enter into production. The vehicle behind me is probably never going to enter into production, and if you've seen this before, then you're not mistaken. It is not new. It's the Fiat Cento Venti. But to my knowledge, this is the first time we've ever had it in the United States. For those who don't know, the Fiat Cento Venti was a concept car that was built last year. And it was showcasing a rather unique technology that I really think we need to start seeing in the electric vehicle market. And that's why I'm here right now talking about this car. You see, unlike most electric vehicles, the Fiat Cento Venti, while a concept car, has been built with one battery pack at the beginning. That battery pack is capable of 100 kilometers of range per charge, or 62 miles, which is laughable by today's modern electric vehicle standards. But where the Fiat Cento Venti shines is its ability to add extra battery packs. You can add in one, two, or three additional battery packs to expand the range by a comparable amount. That means that it is possible to spec your Fiat Cento Venti to have a really decent range. Now, you can either do that when you buy the car, spec three additional battery packs in addition to the one standard one, and then you've got what, 300 miles of range or more per charge, or if you're going on a long distance trip, you can just rent the battery and your local Fiat garage would be able to add the battery in about five minutes using a special machine. Now, what makes this fantastic is the fact that most of us don't drive more than about 100 kilometers, 62 miles per day. Most of us drive far less than that. In fact, the average commuter drives no more than about 40 kilometers in a single day. I know some of you watching this will drive far further in a single day, but your average driver doesn't. And that causes problems because we've got all of these electric cars coming to market, long range electric cars with massive battery packs that aren't actually needed for daily driving. Instead, you've got these cars that are going onto dealer lots, that are being purchased by consumers that are far more expensive than they actually need to be for everyday driving. And the Fiat Cento Venti, while yes, it is a concept car and it pains me to say that, does away with that because it gives you a way of adding an additional supplemental battery when you need it. And when you don't, you're just driving around with that shorter capacity, shorter range battery pack. Are there any benefits to this? Well, other than lowering the cost to the end user, imagine if you buy the Cento Venti or a car like it with a 62 mile, 100 kilometer battery pack, you're not gonna be paying as much as you would be for say a 500 kilometer or 300 mile car. Instead, you're paying a far more affordable price for your base model. And then when you need it, you just rent the extra battery pack for the additional range. So that has the effect of bringing down the total cost of ownership and also has the effect of bringing down the MSRP, the sticker price, when you buy the car. But it also means that you're not putting these massive battery packs in the car that are not gonna be used and effectively going to get wasted. Additionally, because battery packs tend to be pretty heavy, if you take the majority of the battery pack out of this car and you just have the base 62 mile, 100 kilometer range of this vehicle, you're having a much lighter battery pack, which means the car is going to be more efficient. It's not going to use as much energy driving along as it would if it was fitted with a massive battery pack all of the time. Now, the Fiat Cento Venti is, as I said, multiple times only a concept car and it comes with some other unique quirks inside. You can change the interior and change things up quite dramatically to include child seats and cargo carrying spaces. You can do away with all the seats as well, apart from the drivers, of course, if you really want to. And the dashboard is fully customizable as well. You can stick things on as you see fit. And it's a modular design system that I really don't think we'll ever see in a production vehicle. But that battery pack design, that is smart. In fact, I think it is the smartest thing that Fiat has done in the electric car world, or rather FCA, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, has done in the electric car world since the passing of the late Sergio Marchione, who, let's face it, was a known 
hater of electric vehicles. He once famously complained that every Fiat 500 that was sold lost the company a metric butt ton of money. Maybe he didn't say metric butt ton, but you get the idea. But I'm really keen to see what you think in the comments below about this vehicle. Would you buy an electric car with a short range battery pack if it came with the option of adding one, two, three, maybe four additional battery packs for longer range trips when you needed it? And how much would you pay for such a vehicle? And moreover, how much would you pay to rent those additional battery packs for that additional range? I'm really keen to know what you think in the comments below. I'll be back soon with more content from CES, but until then, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time.